Today I'm gonna to show you from my bird garden how we can put the solar fountain panel up out of the way. So a lot of you have asked me, where do you put the panels? How do you hang them? Where do you put them up? How do you keep them in the sun? How do you stick them up in the air? Because most of them come just flat. Well, I'm gonna go over that because, well, you know I've got a ton of DIY solar fountains all over the yard, and we're gonna get into that right now. And I think some of these ideas you may be able to grab, but there's one in particular that costs almost nothing and will work for years. And I think it works perfect. I'm always putting up solar panels. I'm sticking them anywhere. I've got different videos on how to make it for free and everything, and that's fine. I've got here, this is like an irrigation tubing, and it's wrapped around. It's quarter inch with a wire inside. I can twist it around the bottom and hang it up. It works fine, but it's a little bit of work, and you got to kind of make it to sit where you want. The other ways I was doing it was using food containers. You can see way up there, I've got an old cottage cheese or sour cream container. I made a hole and which was really nice about that one is you could store the long cord in there and then put it on the tomato steak and stick it anywhere you want. It works, but let me show you what happens after it's out in the yard for a year or two. So it did last. They fall, they crack. Here's my cord down here in my panel. And it's not going to do me any good. And it's beyond repair, really. So that's another way of doing it. We'll come back to that. You can lean them different places. I've done that. Here's more. This one's also up there. Let's see. More tubing. That's the quarter inch irrigation. But let me show you something else that's fantastic. Oh, there's another one just hanging on a piece of wood. A plant. Look at this. It works. And then look at this one. Simple. Just throwing up there. Clipped on. I wrap it around and it's sitting up there. They work. Oh, I've got more. Let's get going. Here's a piece of wire. I was using this one for a while. These are all gonna be retired. I would sit the panel in there, just fold it up, put on with a zip tie on a tomato steak. Then you got this one. I don't know, something I picked up from Michael's once. Let's look at it. It had foam. I screwed the two pieces together. I could stick it on and set the panel here. I was running the cord through here. Problem was it kept falling. Here's another one made out of a tote lid. Just a piece of tote lid put together, stapled on with a piece coming down, taped it on with some, which is really good painter's tape. That stuff lasts for years in the garden. This has probably been here a good three years. It worked because the panel underneath has a little block and it would fit in there. But I'm gonna show you. So wait a minute, wait, I got one more. Here's the, how exciting, here's a food container. Yes, this is a juice bottle. Now this works really nice. Just simply cut it, made a tray, as you can see here, zip tied it on. So I made sure that when the post came through, I made a hole there, but it couldn't slide all the way down no matter what, and it zip tied. Now this does work, look. You can just sit it on and it works really, really well. All those do work, but I've got one now that is really fantastic. I'm gonna show you how we make these. This is from Dollar Tree. You can't beat this. You can put two panels on that. It's metal. See how this one sits there, but then they swing and they fall. This is metal. This is used for paper towels. It's a paper towel holder. This is the base and this is the top. Turning it upside down, a zip tie or tape, painter's tape on a stake or some old tree limbs you found stuck into a pot will work perfect. And look at this. You can move this anywhere you want. And on top of that, this will fit in in different places. You can stick it here. You can stick it in the middle. I don't have them fall down. You can put a panel on each side. This has been fantastic. They cost $1.25. They're not gonna break because they're metal. You can put it on any stake you want. If you had a fence, you could just wire it on to a fence. That will work too. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. And you don't have to worry about this disintegrating in the sun. You can paint them if you want. I'm just leaving them. But I've got them everywhere. I've got one up here. Took minutes to just put a zip tie here. And now it's holding my panel. Look at that. Up there. It's actually holding two panels. Can you see that? There's one panel there. And there's one panel there. So I've got two solar panels on one of those things. Live action, me putting one up on this old gazebo that Gary put in the bird garden. 
Now, there it is. Now, I'm using painter's tape. I like the green one the best. It lasts long in the garden as my third hand. Now, I'm putting on a zip tie. Now, you could put on as many or as little zip ties as you want, but the painter's tape will hold for about two years out there. I've been using it for many years in the garden. Get the green one. They last longer. That's it. We're done. Now, all I have to do is sit my panel on top. Make sure you could reach it because if birds sit up there and poop, you want to make sure you can take it down and clean it. That's it. You can't get anything easier than that. And here you could put it on the something you had existing or you could put it on a stake as well. Perfect to use on a patio, on a deck, as you can see on a garden. This is just put onto this old gazebo Gary found in the trash and then it's just zip tied on. But like I said, you can use a tomato stake. You can use any type of tree limb if you want. You can put it on anywhere you want and you can put it on a fence. If you've got a chain link fence, you can wire it to that. If you've got just a wire fence, anywhere that you can lean it on and tie it. You can tie it with string, wire, painter's tape, zip ties, use your imagination, yarn, whatever. I'm in the process of changing and cleaning up the bird garden. And I wanna make sure that when I get all that work done, it's gonna stay put. And that's why I had to go to the store and travel around up and down with my shopping cart in Dollar Tree until I found so many things. It was so funny. I was loading up my basket and then all of a sudden I came to the paper towel holders and I thought, wait a minute, this is the answer. I was gonna use a cell phone holder, which was fine, but they're plastic. And again, they're not made for the UV lights coming through the sun and they would deteriorate and fall apart but this isn't going to deteriorate. It's not gonna fall apart. Everything in my cart went right back on the shelves and I went home with about a dozen of them and I'm putting them everywhere. I've got multiple uses for them, more than just putting up solar panels now because I'm gonna use them for a lot of things. Let me show you quickly how I made two different types of holders out of the towel holders. So here I've got two ways of making the solar panel holders. I'm gonna start with the tomato steak. Now the tomato steak has ridges, so it's easy to use zip ties or wire or anything you want. Here you'll see as we go. I'm going to take some painter's tape, which is my favorite thing to use in the garden and I prefer the green one over all the other painter's tapes. I'm going to tape it in the position I want it this is basically my third hand, but I'll tell you something. That painter's tape is going to be there years from now, maybe even longer than the zip ties. So put it exactly the way you want it with the painter's tape. You could get away with just using painter's tape, putting it two and three places right on the post, and it will work. But I'm going to use the zip tie here. Now I'm putting the zip tie on the top and between the ridge, so you make it real tight, it won't slip. Just tighten it, and now you're done, and just clip it. And then I'm gonna do it also on the bottom here, and this will hold it in place for years to come, and it will not move. Easiest thing to make. But like I said, if you wanted to, you could just get away with using painter's tape. Just put it on three different places, top, bottom, and in the middle. But tighten it, and then all you have to do is, again, clip off the little tail, and now you can stick it in the ground and just sit your solar panel on top and it will last for years. And you can put it in the ground or in a flower pot. Now the second method is using two of the paper towel holders. Just make sure you line them up where they will sit flat. See how the bottom on the second one could go just past the circle and then it won't sit flat? You'll see as you make it. So just make sure it will sit flat. And then again here, I'm going to use painter's tape. And I'm gonna tape two of them together. Now this is gonna create a stand. With this type of stand, you could sit it on the ground, you could sit it in a planter, and if you've got a patio, you could sit it on a rail. Anywhere that you can sit this, it won't matter. And it's movable, so when you go to move your fountain to a different place, you just pick up the whole thing, you know, the panel and your fountain, and move it. Now I just line it up, make sure that bottom isn't sticking out from the top, or it will rock. So just kind of pull it up a little bit. See what I'm trying to do? Make sure that that little hoop on the bottom doesn't go past the circle, the chrome circle on the other one. Otherwise it will slip in and it won't sit flat. Now you just tape it on. It is that easy to do. And you can get away with this one with just painter's tape. 
That tape, this is not a joke. If you've seen my videos, you'll see it sitting in the garden. I'll say, oh my gosh, this is holding this stake up for three years now. It's amazing how good this tape is. It's basically waterproof. Put it on when everything is dry, not wet. And once you put it on, it will stay on no matter what you do. And look at this. Now you can just sit your panel there and you can put two panels, one on each side if you wanted to. That's all there is to it. Can't get easier than that. And it will hold it in place really good. Here's one where I just taped on two halves of a skewer. Look at that. Now it will go into my planter. It will sit just like that. And I can take my solar panel and just sit it on top. And now it sits just like that. And you barely see it from this side. So I hope I gave you some tips and tricks on how to set up your solar panels. And like I said, you saw all the different ones I've got. If you want to make one of those, I've got other videos on that. But I think this is the cheapest and easiest way to go. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And get a solar project out there. I make so many. I love them all. They're just so fun to watch all the birds come in and enjoy themselves. Have a great day. Bye-bye.